Hi guys, it's Monday. I promised you a story of a saint every Monday, so here I am. I guess before I start, I just wanted to make sure that all of us are on the same page, right? We're talking about the saints, not because we worship them. We're talking about the saints because these are wonderful examples of how to live our life better. They called they were called by God to live in holiness and that's exactly what they did. Even even if they were threatened by death, they still chose God. They still chose their faith. And as I look through their stories, I am just so amazed at how absolutely wonderful they are. I mean, I can't just even begin to tell you, right? But hopefully, with what I can share every Monday, we both um, learn what we can about the saints, how they live their lives, and more importantly, be inspired because they're really wonderful, amazing examples of how to live in holiness. Today, I would like to talk to you about this particular saint that I really also just got to learn more about just last week as I was looking through who I should talk about today. And the interesting thing, I think, is that she has a daughter who is also a saint. And I'm talking about none other than Saint Therese of the Child Jesus. And we are talking today about her mom. Her mom's name is Marie Azeli Guerin. Now her mom met her dad, Louis, when her mom was just 27 years old and her dad was about 35. It's so cute because they met when they passed each other on a bridge. And I guess at that instant when they saw each other, I don't know if it's love at first sight. I don't wanna I don't wanna assume anything. But that's how they met. And soon after, they got married. And then later on, they had nine children. However, you know, the nine children didn't all survive. And this is one of those things that Saint Zeli had to live with, having to bury four of her children. One of her daughters lived to only about five years old, and the other three died in their infancy. Two of them were their only boys. I can't imagine the grief, you know, and, and having to live through that. I myself, I'm not a mom, but I know a lot of mothers and I know how much they sacrifice for their children. Saint Zali was also a businesswoman. So when I was looking at her story, it was really very interesting how, you know, back in the day, she was already juggling work and family. Saint Zelie was born in 1831, so that's about 189 years ago already. And at the time, what she would do was make all these beautiful laces and she had other women work for her and they all built, uh, they all you know, created these beautiful laces and her husband, Louis, was the one who marketed it and distributed it. So I think, you know, as an example of a very interesting couple, they really are somebody to look up to. Talk about a power couple, right? So the interesting thing too for me is that even if they were very even if they were very busy, they were doing their own thing, they still took the time to gather the family every evening, their five daughters, they would have dinner together, they would talk about life, they would talk about challenges and how to overcome them, but more importantly, they came together in prayer. So as I look through Saint Zelie's life, it was very apparent how her faithfulness and her piety were so top of mind. And then finally, towards the end of her life, she died when she was only 46. She had an inoperable breast tumor and she was in so much pain. In one account, her daughter wanted her to um, wanted her to sit down because she was kneeling in prayer. She was praying the rosary, and you know her daughter realized that was going to be futile, asking her to sit down. She was that kind of woman. 
one in one account one of the daughters said she saw her mother you know laying in the same position for so long so she wanted to move her and as she did her mother screamed in pain really really painful really agonizing um, experience you know but even through all that what resonated to them was that her their mother suffered in patience and she offered what suffering she had to god and she united her suffering with jesus's suffering and to the girls that was such a good example of how to really navigate through life's challenges in one account saint therese was climbing the stairs right and she was she was having a bit of trouble doing it and then her mother so we're somebody somewhere in the house right and so when saint therese would would be would be going through that challenge or whatever she was doing and she was having a hard time she would always just call out to her mom and her mom would would answer back what is it little darling what is it my sweetheart you know with all these with all these wonderful wonderful <laughs> wonderful emotions that only a mother can give and just the sound of her mom's voice would motivate would encourage saint therese to to try harder and that i think was very beautiful because that reminds me of how sometimes when we're in in a bit of a panic we call out to mama mary and she responds so lovingly i hope this little story that i shared helps you look for more information about saint zelie and her family maybe in youtube or maybe in a book but i hope that her her deep faith, her piety, and her resignation to God's will really inspires you as you go through your week. I wish you a most wonderful week ahead, guys. Be a blessing. I'll see you again next Monday for our next saint. Bye!